Start by wrapping your thread to the hook, back to the bend of the hook, and then back three quarters of the way up the shank. Snip off the tag end. We're going to use some yellow Antron for our body. Secure that in place three quarters the way up the shank. Now secure it all the way back to the bend of the hook. That way we have a nice secure piece of yellow Antron yarn. Bring your thread up to three quarters of the way up the shank and wrap the Antron yarn three quarters of the way up the shank to create a nice body. Keep in mind that if you want to change the color of the hopper, just switch out to a different color Antron yarn such as green or red, orange, chartreuse, olive or tan. All those could be a workable color for a hopper, pretty much anywhere you go. Once you've wrapped the Antron yarn three quarters of the way up the shank, secure it down. And then snip off the tag end. The wing of our hopper is going to be a small piece of turkey feather. In order to keep the feather from splitting apart, once we've tied it on the hopper, we took a little bit of flex seal and kind of painted it on. That way it would really hold that feather together. Snip a straight end at the end of the feather and then secure it on top of the shank of the hook. Now cut away the back part at a slight angle to create a neat looking wing casing. Now bring your thread up to the eye of the hook and cut off about a pencil's thick diameter of deer hair and clean the fuzz out of the ends of the deer hair. Now we're going to stack the tips of the deer hair. Once it's stacked, pull out the tips of the hair so that they're facing forward along with the hopper. Now measure the tips so that they're roughly the length of the shank and then tie that on right at the eye of the hook. Now a few wraps to hold it down and then snip off all the excess deer hair. Once all the deer hair is snipped off, carefully unwind the thread just a few times and then spin the hair right at the eye of the hook. Pull those fibers forward a little bit and then secure down the rest of the hair, bringing your thread back to three quarters the length of the shank. Once your thread is in place, pull back all the fibers of the deer hair and secure them down with your thread. This will create a nice collar and the bullet head that the hopper is named after. Now we're going to take a few sexy legs and tie them in at the same place we secured the head. One wrap around, that way we can still play with the legs. Move the legs in place on either side of the hopper and then secure them in place. A few wraps ought to do it. Now to make whip finishing just a little bit easier, we're going to trim off the front legs just a little bit and then whip finish. Once it's whip finished, clip off the excess thread. With the legs in place, we can now clip off the back legs so that they just extend a little bit beyond the hopper. And now we have ourselves a bullet head hopper.